Welcome to St. Mark, St. Mark Messengers of the Mystical Mangroves. We are reporting from the Mangrove Park in Golden Beach, Florida. We are here to teach you about different aspects of the mangrove and to education, breed, appreciation, conservation, and protection. Today we are going to talk about crabs and the mangroves. I'm looking for the world famous crabs from the, crab from the mangroves. <laughs> I got him! Crabs are called decapods. Decapods means it has ten legs. Crabs have their teeth in their stomach, unlike others. The average crab lives about two or three years. Crabs are invertebrates, animal, um, which means they don't have spines. They use their shells for protection. Crabs This is the mangrove. We want to show you some pictures while Quentin tells us some facts. The red, oh my God, the is red mangrove right here is usually, the roots are usually sticking out of the water, like like you see here in this picture. And um, it's like the tree may reach like 80 feet in height. Ha um, and it has thin gray bark and and dark red wood. Um, sometimes the leaves are like probably somewhere around three or four inches or possibly two. And the white mangrove over here, um, it's tree sh or sh it's tree reaching, um, pro it reaches sometimes to about 50 feet or more. And, um, the leaves go up, the oval, the flattened oval leaves reach up to like three, about three inches long and rounded at both ends. This is the white mangrove and you can tell that it's the white mangrove because of the salt glands on the leaves. And if you smell them, you can kind of smell the salt. Wait, is that this is the red mangrove. Notice the roots. These roots help purify the water for the crabs, which mangrove crabs have gills they breathe out of, and land crabs, they use two cavities, like lungs, to breathe air. These are the seeds that the red mangroves produce and when they when they fully grown they fall off into the water to grow a new one. And they use up they have to have a lot of water to grow. And like we said, their leaves are the natural diet for the crab. The white the black mangrove usually sometimes has flowers on it, like the picture you see in here. And it has little salt crystals that you can kind of see them. Um, their natural diet, it's, it's, um, the mangrove tree, the mangrove leaves, he, they, um, it relies heavily on that, that's pro that's probably all they eat. Um, they, uh, when predators try and attack them, they drop from the mangrove trees, and them scurrying in the dirt helps aerate and fertilize the soil. And when they drop, they could be um, caught by like a passing, another, a bigger crab, or uh, passing by fish. Predators of crabs are fish, 
There are many kinds of fish in the mangrove. This is the yellow crowned night heron, and he's one of the natural predators of the crab. This is the yellow, this is the same bird we just showed you last time, but it's kind of taller. And as we said, it's the natural predator of the crab. This is the intercoastal, and it's connected to the mangrove park. And remember, this is Patrick, Ethan, and Quentin of the St. Mark Messengers of the Mystical Mangrove. We hope, we hope you enjoyed our show and tune in to all our vodcasts regarding Mangrove Park and Boynton Beach. Remember, we are all connected, so we are all affected. We need to take care of our Mangrove Park. For more information, log on to YouTube and search for St. Mark Messengers of the Mystical Mangrove. Thank you.